What's up, guys? It's me, Dagon, and I have complicated feelings about modern Minecraft. While some parts are pretty dope, others are not even really so much that dope, actually. You know what I mean? Since Minecraft is so open and creative, everyone has different wants and desires regarding the game. Some players enjoy fighting bosses, exploring, collecting weapons, and would really rather be playing Terraria right now. Others prefer Factorio instead. Why these people are even playing Minecraft in the first place remains one of the greatest wonders of the world. Point is, everybody wants something a little different out of Minecraft, and what I want is better than adventure. The beta 1.7.3 mod that not only adds a lot of cool stuff, but also fixes almost everything I didn't like about the modern game. So what's not to like, right? Well, there's... Getting the best items in modern Minecraft is unintuitive and tedious. You'll spend hours making an XP farm and grinding only for the anvil to tell you to maybe rethink living. Building whatever you want is the foundation of Minecraft, but the monotonous grind for the best gear gets in the way of that. And while you don't technically need the most powerful equipment to have fun building stuff, many players, including myself, feel this compulsion to do so. Enchanted netherite items, shulker boxes, and the elytra especially make constructing any remotely large-scale project so much more efficient. It feels like a waste of time to not grind out the best items before getting started with building massive Mario. Mario. Better Than Adventure addresses this in a pretty cool way. There are no enchantments, and instead of having one best set of gear, BTA balances its equipment to be accessible and allow for more player expression. Each tool in armor tier has their own niche. For example, leather armor is effective against fall damage, gold tools act as silk touch, and steel, which you make from iron, has super high durability. In BTA, there is no best gear to grind for. It's not something I've had to spend much time worrying about. And that's given me the time and energy to build more dope-ass buildings here than any other world in recent memory. Guys, check out my cool farm. It's got this, like, upstairs fountain area. And if you go down here, it's got the big pool. Big, big hot tub. Hottest one. On this balcony, I was gonna put some sheep up here for wool but I haven't really figured out a way to move them here. Uh, it looks cool though, like if you agree. The power creep of transportation methods over the years is insane. Minecarts became obsolete because of horses, which were outdone by ice boats, and now the most convenient way to go anywhere is the incredibly overpowered elytra. No point in breeding horses or building a railway when the elytra is just so much quicker and without the lengthy setup. There is no balance here. If Minecraft was a boy, he could not stand up. BTA obviously doesn't have this problem because this was before all that crud was added into the game. However, they did make minecarts and boats a little faster, which is a fine change by me as they still coexist and maintain their niche. Minecarts for quick, automated travel over land, boats for quick travel over water, pigs for, uh, pigs are here too. I hate structures. Okay, that's not true. I, I don't really like common above ground structures, especially villages. They just make the early game way easier than I think it should be. You can get iron, diamonds, a stack of bread, a place to live, all without having to do anything, really. And then when you get to the late game and no longer benefit from their handouts, these structures get in the way of the landscape you might have wanted to build on. They're simultaneously overpowered and underwhelming depending on where you are in the game. Better Than Adventure doesn't have these. You'll occasionally find a little entrance to a dungeon or labyrinth on the surface, but these structures are underground challenges. Plus, the devs have said that they're likely not going to consider adding overworld structures that wouldn't have been around for more than a millennium ago. No pirate ships, no NPC villages. As such, no free loot, no overworld clutter. Overall, Better Than Adventure makes for a much more consistent and balanced Minecraft experience by cutting out many of the missteps of modern Minecraft. Personally, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. However, while it's really awesome, nothing is perfect, and there's some issues that I'd like to talk about. 
First, it's missing some of the customization options from Modern that I've grown accustomed to, uh, like being able to disable coordinates server-wide for an extra challenge, hiding the seed in multiplayer to prevent cheating. I don't know, just like miscellaneous options like that would be nice. The next problem is I got ratioed on the mods discord server. No, the, the next problem you might run into with Better Than Adventure is if you're used to modern vanilla, then there just isn't as much to do. While I believe the fundamentals are more fun, the lack of farming animals, interesting fishing mechanics, or other modern systems like those leave your builds lacking functional substance. But PTA is still in very active development with no sign of stopping, evident by all these colmits, I guess. I, I don't really know what these are, but the dev team has big plans for adding more stuff to do, and every time they post a little sneak peek, I get really excited. Official Mojang snapshots always carry this baggage with them, where it's like, oh, that's awesome, but when are you gonna fix enchanting, or elytra, or villages? Whereas with Better Than Adventure, it can just be, oh, that's awesome, because they already fixed Minecraft.